Hello everyone, this is how to tie the double fisherman's. Um, the most common reason for tying the double fisherman's is to make an endless loop like so, to make a prussic loop, or to tie two ends of rope together. Um, it's not the quickest way to tie two ends of ropes together, but it's it's definitely not coming undone. Um, so if you really don't want it coming undone, this is the, a good knot to use. Another use for this knot is to make a termination knot like so, um, to attach a carabiner on. Um, it's not coming in undone and it cinches tight around the carabiner. Um, probably want to leave a slightly longer tail um, than this, but this is fine. It, the guidance is three times the width of the rope, so that's probably just borderline uh, long enough. Another use for this knot is a stopper knot, um, tying on the end of the line. It's nice and compact. So here you go, here's how to tie it. So here you go, you've got your two lines here. You've got your top line and the bottom line. If this, if you're trying to make a, a continuous loop, um, obviously the lines would be the same colour, um, but this just makes it easier to see and to demonstrate. So with the top line, you want to come over the bottom line like so. You then want to wrap it around. One. Two times. And with the tail, you want to post through both of the holes you've just created. Like so. Notice how the line runs along the top and it ends up on the bottom. That's important. So with the orange line, we went top to bottom. Now with this bottom line, we're gonna go bottom to top. Bottom to top like so, going over, then round once, round again, and then same, now posting this tail through the holes you've created. Like so. Pull both the sides, and the knot will tighten itself that's what's so good about this uh, double fisherman's knot, it will tighten the more pressure that's been being put on both sides. Notice how they've lined up here, that's, that is important. Um, you've got almost the crisscross side of the knot and the flat side of the knot. It's important to, to get it in that configuration so the flat sides are together and the crisscross sides are together. Um, the knot will sit better like this. Um, and you'll get a more secure knot. Notice how the crisscross, the, the central bar is slightly off to the left, the way I've tied it, and the same for this one, slightly off to the left. It's okay if they're both slightly off to the right, but they've just got to be the same way on both knots. So that's how to tie two ropes together, whether you're just tying two ropes um, to connect the two, or you're making an endless loop, like so. Um, that's the method I use. I'll now show you how to tie the fisherman's knot to be used as an anchor knot. Splice dies are becoming way more common, um, so then the need for this type of knot is becoming less and less, but it's an important knot to know. Um, not all ropes come with splice dies, um, and you might sever them, but still have a lot of life in the rope. So here's how to tie it. You make a bite like so. over the top. Now working back towards the bite, we wrap once and wrap again. Now with this tail, we go through both the holes on the top of the knot. Tighten that up. There you go. Uh, you can see it's right because it's it looks the same as the knots we were talking about previously. You've got that central bar and the two left and right little legs. Um, what's so great about this is it winches tight. So you place your carabiner or whatever you want to attach and then you just cinch it. And that will cinch real, real tight. Like so. 
with any type of knot, anchor knot, you really want to test it on the ground. That's not just good to go and hike up a tree, you want to test that knot um, and real put your weight in it to make sure you've tied that cor correctly because um, this can be a fatal mistake if tied wrong. So if, you, if you're new to this knot, rewatch, rewatch, make sure you're 100% secure and, and, and really have it in your head that it's tied correctly. Lastly, how to tie is a stopper knot. Starts the same as all the others. Make the bite, place the tail over, wrap it around once, twice, place the tail through um, the wraps and through the eye at the end. And there you have it. With both of the last knots combined, you can make your own side strop. Um, with the anchor knot and the stopper knot, you can make whatever length side strop you want out of some climbing rope um, with a friction device in the middle, whether it's mechanical or um, a friction cord, using a VT or a distal like I've shown on my previous knot time videos.